Chair International que je dirige depuis 7 ans est une organisation internationale, multidisciplinaire, académique, indépendante, qui est basée à l'Université Laval à Québec. Cinq disciplines sont rassemblées, l'hypertension, la cardiologie, l'obésité, le mode de vie et la nutrition et la recherche fondamentale. Notre croisade, c'est de lutter contre l'épidémie mondiale d'obésité, de diabète de type 2 et de maladies cardiovasculaires, d'une forme très particulière d'obésité, qui est l'obésité abdominale, qui n'est pas prise en charge par le corps médical international, évidemment pas par le corps médical européen, ni français en ce qui nous concerne aujourd'hui. L'Alliance française pour le mieux vivre, c'est une organisation pluridisciplinaire qui fait appel à des médecins, à des scientifiques français, bien entendu, à des politiques, à des ONG, mais aussi à des économistes de la santé tels que l'OCDE. Recently, we published a study in JAMA Internal Medicine uh, using data from the US, and we found that uh, people who overconsume uh, sugar sweetened beverages had increased risk of uh, heart disease. Uh, they are more likely to die from cardiovascular disease uh, for people who consume at least one serving per day of sugary beverages. So this study provided uh, strong evidence that um, um, overconsumption of sugary beverages uh, not only contribute to obesity, diabetes, but also heart disease. Since SSB um, is harmful for uh, our health, uh, the best replacement is, is plain water because it doesn't contain any calories, doesn't contain any sugars, and it's widely accessible, it's cheap, unsweetened coffee and tea uh, is also a good alternative, healthy alternative to uh, SSBs uh, because um, recent studies have shown that uh, regular consumption of coffee uh, is actually associated with decreased risk of type 2 diabetes. Um, some people have uh, used uh, diet drinks to replace uh, SSBs, um, but there's still some concern that um, uh, um, long-term consumption of uh, uh, diet drinks may have some uh, cons health consequences. So I think it's okay to use it as a temporary replacement for SSBs, but it's not an optimal long-term replacement. What kind of strategies can be used to reduce uh, SSB consumption in the population? Uh, first of all, we need to educate uh, the public and the health professionals about harmful effects of SSBs on our health. And secondly, I think uh, it's very important for the government to take some actions on SSBs. Uh, studies have shown that uh, uh, increasing tax on SSBs can um, reduce consumption levels in the population and can change people's behavior. Recently, Mexico government has passed a law to uh, impose 8% tax on, on SSBs. I think that's a very important step forward in terms of public health. What's the optimal diet for prevention of cardiovascular disease? Uh, a recent study conducted in Spain uh, has provided uh, a strong evidence that uh, eating a Mediterranean diet uh, uh, supplemented with uh, olive oil or nuts can substantially reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease uh, in uh, relatively healthy populations. So this is a really a landmark study. It's the first primary prevention of cardiovascular disease uh, using Mediterranean diet. I think the take-home message is that eat well, drink well, and move.